Hi y'all, this is Reflection D and Chef Ebony Rocks. And we are back with another reaction video. Now, don't, you know, don't 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 give us a hard time, but you know, we're kind of like behind on the reactions. So, we're going to break this up into two videos and then we have some future reaction videos, so make sure you guys stay subscribed. What we're doing for you guys is we are now doing subscribe for subscribe for the first 1000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are watching right now if you guys are watching right now we want you guys to subscribe and we will subscribe back to you so let's get right into this thing so today we are watching right now we're watching natalie's video from easy x natalie breaking and my silence breaking my, my brother silence. versus my girlfriend yes so we're gonna get a reaction from both of us um i'm pretty excited to watch it i saw it pop up yesterday and it was just a lot going on between yesterday and today. And um, I, I hear the lips smacking. What's up? How you feel? So I, I want to start off by saying, you know, for those of you who watch us, y'all know, I be just, you know, tuned in and tapped in and I just speak the truth. I'm not picking sides. I'm not saying who's right, and who's wrong. I'm only saying what's right and what's wrong based on human behavior and psychology. I want to first say that. Second of all, the first thing that I noticed when I saw this title was that there was a space between girl and friend. Now, maybe that's a far reach, except if you look back at the other videos, girlfriend was pushed together. Wait a minute. And then it also says video, it again. Yep, finally, this video and finally talking to my girlfriend. She has two videos to separate breaking, girl and friend. Girl and friend has a space in between us. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna reserve. We're gonna watch this, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna speak honestly. Danielle's gonna have to just let me go tonight. She's gonna have to just let me talk. I just want to say that I love Easy and Natalie as a couple, and I, I adore them, and I respect them as individuals and as entrepreneurs. I'm just gonna be honest. Like I, like, like if I was your big sister, I'm just gonna talk to you like that. So I can just be me just be objective about what I see and what needs to happen. I'm like, you know, that's, that's just what I do. All right, so uh, let's get into it. All right. Because we're watching Breaking My Silence, My Brother versus Girl Friend. Sounds like a homegirl, not a girlfriend. Looks like a girl, yeah. Homegirl. Female friend. Let's see. They were both being extremely selfish, egotistical, and childish. I honestly felt like my freaking heart was being ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then she, she sounds like she's upset, like she's hurt, like she's I mean, she's obviously hurt. I mean, body language. Normal. I've tried to make this video a million times. I know you guys are waiting for me to say something, but I don't know what to say. For the past couple of years, Easy and my brother have been beefing behind closed doors and sometimes even in front of everybody, but it was always just subtle, you know, questionable whether or not they were really, you know, going through it or not. Behind closed doors, I've been really emotionally going through it. Hell on that catnip. Yeah, to have two people that you love at each other's throats all the time. I can't even describe to you what that feels like. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. To have to feel to constantly have to feel like you have to choose and all the time I'm choosing one of them. I wasn't choosing myself. All right. I wasn't paying attention to how I was feeling and how it was literally tearing me down, how it was affecting my mental health. Sometimes I would literally feel sick to my stomach. It was physically affecting me. The sad part is Easy and Josh used to be really close. 
her and I were best friends, but so were they. They were inseparable because we were inseparable. Sometimes when you mix business with pleasure, um, it just doesn't mix right. When we started doing the family project together, I don't know, things started uh, getting like weird between Josh and Easy. They started getting too comfortable. You know how it is when you're around somebody all the time and you guys start getting on each other's nerves and bickering turns into arguing. And one day it just went too far. Okay. They argued and said things to each other that they couldn't take back, really nasty and hurtful things. And from then, that was it. The family project was over and so was the relationship. And honestly, it felt like so was my sanity. We were just best friends, Easy and I, but she, she was like family to me even then. And to have my brother and Easy, my best friend, not even being able to be around each other. And I couldn't even go to anybody about it because nobody knew. Y'all didn't know. I had to just smile in front of the camera. We're not at all. Like, y'all have no idea. No, we kind of didn't know. I was say, I felt like we knew because a lot. Because she wasn't even going to the house. Like, no. Y'all yeah, she stopped going to the house. Mm -hmm. She wasn't even coming in. What that does to a person. I thought that finally that was coming to an end. I thought that maybe the end of this horrible freaking dream was near and maybe we were going to be a family again. My brother invited Easy to Christmas and Easy actually said yes and for once in a really long time they were both on the same page and trying to move forward and I felt so much relief. Christmas went great. It's your you know, they you guys saw it. They bought each other gifts and everything. And then my brother decided to put out a video. Um he pranked us. For those of you that don't Pretty know. Easy. Josh pranked Easy and I. And in the prank, obviously the prank, obviously it was too freaking soon, bro. Pause this for a second. Oh, look at you sound He trying decided. To look at me trying to sound what? Calm, I'm trying to sound calm. I'm calm. I'm scared. I just want to say <clears throat> that I do understand um, how that feels to be that person on your side and I also do understand how it feels to be on easy side mm -hmm. where you're the person on the out mm -hmm. um so I've been in both areas yeah. of it um and it is not easy definitely not not easy at all and it, it's it's worse though if your person doesn't understand their role in fixing it so if your person doesn't understand their contribution to mending the process, it's a thousand times worse. Yeah. In this situation, though, and I hate to say this, you're the person um, whose contribution is, like, pivotal um, to fixing it. Um, but your contribution can't be peacekeeping. And it sounds to me, and it feels like, and I am just an empath in the deepest sense of the word. Well, oh, been since I was eight years old all my life. Um, you know, diffusing the situation, trying to de-escalate the mm -hmm. situ situation, mm -hmm. trying to just keep everybody happy, keep everybody sane. That's not helping the situation. It has never it's helped only the situation. It's only hurting her internally. It just pro. So what that does is it makes easy feel invalidated. Um, and I hate to say this because you may or may not yet understand this or be in a place ready to receive this, but that also empowers the person who's uh, doing who's the, the aggressor the, that, yeah, or that the empowers bully the aggressor or... it does because you're not standing up for the other person so if you're kind of silent in it that's kind of a silent yeah. condoning of it especially if you're not saying hey stop yeah. and, so and, and stepping in the middle of yeah, it yeah it's, it's one of those situations where I understand that it hurt and that it was hurtful and that you probably just wanted it to stop. Yeah. But the truth was, 
and I'll say this to you, just like if you were my sister, or like if you were like somebody that I knew and we talked to every day, I would say this to you honestly in real life. You have to step into your power instead of sitting back waiting for the situation to just, it's like sticking your head in the sand and acting like it's not a sandstorm. The sandstorm is still happening whether you stick your head in the sand or not. You're just choosing to not see it. And that's kind of what's happened over the past couple of years. And no, we don't see everything that happens every day and we're not privy to knowing every conversation and everything, but I can tell you when we see everybody around, it is definitely tension. It's awkward. It is definitely awkward, easy to subdue. Josh is quiet, kind of quiet. drifting off. It's always kind of, it's definitely palpable in the videos that we've seen. So just because y'all weren't saying that it was happening, people who are in tune and in touch um, can kind of see things and, you know, kind of read between the lines and see the and, spaces. And even before we saw, you know, them together in one space in a long time, before that, before Easy confessed her love for her, mm -hmm. she wasn't growing up in the house. She wasn't, yeah. the, like, yeah. she wasn't, even when she moved out or when she did the prank about changing Harmony's room into a play uh, a playroom, Easy was never, yeah, obviously was around. not invited. Yeah, and it's so like she knew. would pull in in the, in the front yeah. of the of the apartment and she'll and call you in. out. Yeah. And she'd call you out. We, so everybody kind of so, knew that. Uh, you can't say everybody, but there was an in tune for your real supporters and your real fans like we actually are. We saw the distance and the difference and you have to kind of understand that can be put together. But it's nothing bad. You guys Even realize, before that, they talked about their creative differences. Yeah. I remember that being Do, said. Um, in one of the videos, the while they didn't yeah, have it anymore. Y'all were all on the family project, and mm -hmm. Easy and Josh um, were at odds, fussing and fighting about something behind the scenes that created differences and mm -hmm. why they hadn't posted in a while. Yes. Um, so we've kind of seen it. And again, for your true supporters that have been around, I think what I want to say to you, though, is... You know, people who try to keep the peace are traditionally not at peace and yes. i feel like that's kind of how amen sister <laughs> that's kind of how you felt like i'm trying to keep the peace i want my brother to be and happy and i want my brother to be fine and i want easy to be yeah but it, so it's not like so i okay so you said you weren't choosing yourself by choosing one of them but the truth was you didn't choose anybody you were just trying to keep the peace but there was no peace to be kept so it was kind of like it's like being on a on a bike, you know, and the chain's off, right? So everybody's just pedaling, right? Let's say you're on a three-person <laughs> bike, and the chain's off the spokes, and everybody's feet are going, 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 going. But the bike's not going anywhere. It looks like there's movement. It looks it like looks there's like traction. Progress. It looks like you should be progressing, but you're not actually going anywhere. So that's kind of what was happening. And I hate to say this, when you don't deal with situations, you kind of know this because you're also very in tune and connected. The right situation... Up continues to present itself until the source is mended that's just the nature of the law of attraction that's life that is karma that is all these things that you know and you're connected to and i'm sure she just wanted them to work it out yeah but this is them themselves but this is the thing, she didn't though, have to you so I understand are the that person part in well. the middle and natalie odell you are the person in the middle you are the only person still to this day right now who can stop this because the only thing that's starting this is your brother's need to put you under his wing and hold you there like his like his daughter and it could have been just for the fact of him feeling like natalie he was needs to protect you well no the fact well besides that that he that she was because that's because he she chose to live her life and continue her journey with easy maybe i'm just i'm just yeah, throwing it I mean, out there that's a probability and they they should most definitely get together pretty soon if they have not already and just talk behind the camera just you but know, i'm between. gonna say this this is just me talking to you honestly before you talk to anybody else you have to own the idea that your feelings are yours and you're entitled to them just as everybody else is right so i'm not excusing anyone's behavior or anyone's choices um, or anyone's dismissive nature of your feelings because everybody's kind of responsible for our actions and how they affect the others that we love and that we're around. Everybody's responsible for that. A lot of people don't realize that though. But you have to step into your power and your own place and understanding you want this just to stop. You thought the nightmare was over like you just said. Yeah. You thought two years of it was coming to an end. But the truth was, it's like... 
there was no work, so you couldn't get that result. Right. So it was going to keep, it was work, gonna keep repeating yes, itself. Yes, without the work, you can't get the results, you know? Really, that's kind of how that works. So I just kind of want to say that. So let's see what else you say. And maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah. Got two more minutes, so let's check it out. How many? Ten more minutes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh. basically talking crap about easy and it triggered easy easy got really upset you know easy felt hurt by the stuff that josh was saying you know and uh, my brother posted it anyway my brother decided to post it and easy decided to post a video about basically how she doesn't like Josh. Basically telling the world what has been going on between them for the past two years. All of this happening in front of the entire world. Josh responded, now trashing Easy after she trashed him. I literally couldn't believe it. Neither of them talked to me about this. Neither of them were thinking about me and what the, what this was gonna do to me. What this was gonna do to our relationship. My relationship with Easy, my relationship with Josh. They were both being extremely selfish. Egotistical and childish. I honestly felt like my freaking heart was being ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then Easy um, decided to go to Miami. In the midst of everything, in the midst of the videos going out, on top of it, basically questioning whether or not she can be with me because of her relationship with my brother. She can't say that no one's considering her because Josh should have been the only one considering her when he did the prank. Because, like I said before, I don't know which video ago, I did say that he could have had the conversation with Natalie to see if it was okay. Maybe she can play along. Otherwise, it that's why it's, it's gone bad. Mm -hmm. The fact that she went to Miami was already planned. But I can I can really assume that based on how everything went down, you know, it looks like Natalie went straight to the camera. Maybe her Natalie and Natalie or easy. Easy. I'm sorry. So after the the whole back and forth between Josh and Easy, Easy looked like she went home and went straight to the camera. She was probably mad at Natalie for not taking up for her, so she went straight to the camera. Once again, everybody's doing things from their emotions, um, and unfortunately, when you do th things from your emotions, you do forget the entire big picture, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I know you got a lot to say. No, I don't actually have a lot to say. I want to first address something she just one said. thing that I she said. Want I want to say something about this, too, but I'm going to have to rewind this and get this back, but... I want to first address the fact that you said he pranked Easy and you. He did prank. He pranked Easy. And you were there. So, of course, you're kind of in on it. But the prank was not addressed towards you. My first Josh tried to make it say, said the same thing. Was, I pranked both of you. Yeah, no. You pranked Easy because if you had been saying, if your brother had been saying things about you, I'm pretty sure none of this would have been an issue. You might have been a little razzle for a minute. Y'all might have gone back and forth. Kiki, kaka, I take this out. Don't say this. Do this. Do this. Blah, blah, blah. After the fact, but it wouldn't have gone this way. So my first thought is, and I feel like, and I could be wrong, right? But you're still kind of trying to remove some of the responsibility From that Josh. your brother had yeah, yeah. in this because you're more upset that Easy's responding. But the issue with that is it comes across as if you're not considering Easy's feelings as equally as, as your Josh. as no, as as equally as you're considering yours. Uh -huh. Yes, you're hurt. 
yes, you're hurting. You are valid in your hurting. And um, again, I've been there. I understand it, honestly, wholeheartedly. But do you, have you considered how it feels for easy to be on the other side, to be ostracized, to be left out, to barely be included? When I am included, it's weird, you know, for your brother to have said all these things to her that caused all this in the first place. And then now to hear those things renewing, you know, ripping the bandaid off before the wound is healed. Have you considered how that felt to her? So we want her to consider your feelings. It is important that she does because you guys are together. But it's also equally as important that you consider her feelings and don't just feel like she shouldn't have responded. Mm-hmm. That's not fair. That just goes on, that fair. just goes along the line of well, this just goes along the line of the fact that we talked about that Natalie needs to just stand between the both of them and say what it is. Make a stand well, but and the, tell them because the truth is if they love her is trying to save you. Like He's like the saving the damsel in distress, right? Or he's being the father figure who's over-domineering, overwhelming, overprotective of his baby girl who nobody's ever going to be good enough for. And it takes the girl to usually grow up and say, you know, hey, I'm good. I can defend myself. I'm good for myself. Or the girl's person saying, hey, I got her. But it's going to take a united front. And whether you or not, again, you choose to stay with easy or you choose to stay with women in general, I do feel like this is more of a woman to woman relationship based issue. Because typically, to be honest with you, I hate to tell you this, but what you're dealing with is kind of something that's heavy in the lesbian community. There's always somebody who feels like that person ain't good enough for my person and they're overbearing and they're overwhelming and they're wrong and they're rude and they're loud. And then the person who's receiving all that is just expected to take it to not be quiet to not respond be okay to it. not respond because that's my that's my person you shouldn't say nothing to them don't fuss with them don't go back and forth don't do that don't do this but you're not actually addressing the source and i'm just being honest with you whether or not you choose to stay with easy or anybody else if you stay with the woman i'm pretty sure this is kind of going to be a cycle until you break the cycle so you have to stand up in front of your brother with easy hand in hand even though she hurt you because this is the truth even when Josh has called you pranking you or Zasha has called you pranking you about Josh. You have stood on the outside of that and be like, you know, y'all need to work it out. Y'all are a yeah. family. This is yeah. kind of, I feel kind of weird that I'm put in the middle of this. Yeah. You, don't you do that. I, we've seen you do that. You never say, yeah, you know what? You know what? She may not be the one for you. You know what? She shouldn't have done that. So, you know, well, maybe that's how considerate you know, she is. She's but that's, that. this is what you're doing, what you're supposed to do, which is what your brother should be doing which is him standing in the place of understanding if that person makes you happy, I just support that. Right. And if y'all are having a hard time, maybe y'all should talk about it. But who's y'all? Maybe y'all, if, I'm saying if, if if Natalie calls Josh with any type of issue or a situation, well, first of all, he don't should be call the your same, brother he should use with the your same, situations from your relationship. Let me just be honest well, you with can, you. Well, you could have mm-hmm. called him if he wasn't the way he was. You, that means you can't call him. So we're just dealing with life as, as the way it's presented itself. Because he does feel the way that he does. He's not the safe haven you can go to. Doesn't mean he's not an amazing brother. Doesn't mean he's not an amazing person, amazing dad, amazing, all these things. But because he doesn't support your relationship the way that you need, he's not the person you can go to when times are rough. When As of like maybe how your mother or Jacina would be. You have to go to a neutral party would be. who genuinely loves the both of you guys together and really wants to see it work. rooting for y'all. Yeah. yeah, if you go to somebody who ain't necessarily rooting for y'all, that's the kind of advice you're going to get. Yeah. That's not, that, again, that's not saying he's mean or bad or anything. He just, he's not necessarily supportive of the relationship for whatever reason. And what I don't, what I want to understand, and I know because it's not our position or assumption to make, but the fact that Natalie just said, easy chose to go to Miami in the midst of things. Is this something that Natalie told Josh or is it Josh put that bug in her ear like she shouldn't have did that? So from... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because I, the, now we don't know, right? Right. Okay, but I'm going to tell you what I, I gather. Easy and Natalie always travel together. You guys always travel together. My assumption, based on just y'all history, is y'all were both y'all were suppo- both supposed to go to Miami. Maybe she left early. And... Because the drama happened, you maybe didn't expect her to still roll with the plan. Uh, maybe settle there and work through that. And I also understand that. But if you guys already had a plan, my concern is that why didn't you guys go on with your plan? 
while the outside influence ruined even your if plans. you got even though you guys had no control over the situation it happened to y'all but y'all have to be that rock that keep each other together y'all should have gone to nothing Miami to do with together anything if it was or anyone else for you guys to go together you should have yeah. gone together now again easy went to the camera but that also i saw that as a cry for help from someone who and you saw it in her face the same pain in your face in this video was the same, same pain, pain she had and Easy's face. Easy was just over it. She's overwhelmed. She's, she's tired. Hurt. She's confused. She's hurt. She's, she's just trying to figure over. out why she. Why, why does, does she deserve happening? this? Yeah. Why yeah. does this keep happening? Yeah. Why is my person letting this happen? Yeah. And it is up to you to care as much about how she feels about that as it is for her to care about how she, what she's doing, and how those things make you, make feel. you feel. You guys both have to stand in the place of being compassionate and loving and understanding as well as being understood so you have to see each other the way that you actually are and understand that it's not just you who feels that way she feels that way also and again i say i've been in both sides of it wouldn't recommend it to either anybody. one zero it stars it mine is zero stars so bad it does but you know what you can fix this and that's kind of the difference that I see this because, again, I've been there. I'm like, you're the actual fixer. It's you. Just you're a boss, okay? You're a baddie. And but vicious, you're, the one, motivated, you're the one who all of that. he feels he needs to save, right? Even so though you're you doing, even stand. though you're doing well, you oh, no, were you're doing, doing well when you left. That's still a big brother. That's still how a big brother is going to treat his sibling, younger sister, especially if whatever the situation was, if there wasn't a father figure around, he stepped into that role. That happens. My 21 year old son did it too. And I had to say, Hey, whoa, you know, you're, you're not just the, the brother. You're the brother. But I had to stop him and say that so that he understood his role. Your role is to love her. Your role is to take protect care her, of her yeah. and protect her, but you're not her father. So I stopped that early. But again, I, I wouldn't, I would say, I know I understand that, you're, you know, in your way of thinking about it now, you're like, she should have stayed. Truth was, no, y'all all, all should have gone. You should have gone on with your plan yeah. and had a good time to show the united front that, hey, we're going to work through this. Easy should not have been in Miami while you were but sitting Easy home shouldn't have been and talking to your brother. Easy shouldn't even have had the room to be home mm -mm. at her house to make the video. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are normally together. And we're together. not pointing fingers. Well, it's, it's you guys more... are normally together. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying that couples don't need time apart and need breaks and space from each other. Not implying that. But for her to go home that upset and sit down with the camera, that if you were there, I don't think she would have done that. Now, I'm not blaming you for not being there. I'm saying you have to understand your contribution and your absence of what you're saying and how that's also making her feel. And when you think about it, there was another prank. It was so funny. I can't remember the title, but there was a, a prank that it was the it was the prank where Easy was was doing the TikTok stuff, and he, she was saying that she was doing it with TikTok people, and she was at her house in her kitchen there at the table, and, and oh, she was supposed to have an attitude, and she was like, "What's wrong? What's going on?" And then she's like, "Don't nobody better treat my baby like that." This is what mm -hmm. oh, Natalie was home. saying, yeah, talking so when about. Yeah, came back and the, she said that you know they had messed up her energy and the filming went bad and stuff like and she's that. She's a You're YouTuber right. and and and, yeah. and and the TikTokers think they're better than her. her. Hey, they don't you, pay your bills. They don't pay your bills. They shouldn't be controlling that much of how you feel and what's going on with you. Right. Well, guess what, baby girl? Same difference. And it shouldn't matter right who now. it yeah. is. It could have been her mama. It could have been yeah. easy beefing with her own yeah. mama. You would have said something different. Yeah. You so, would have said, hey, don't stress about other people's opinion. And you got to hold that same energy yeah, no matter what. You have to what. hold that, but I'm going to always say you have to seek to be as understanding as you want to be understood. Because as heavy as we feel as individuals, we feel like that's the end of it. We're drowning in our emotions. Other people can feel just as heavy. And they're just as entitled to their feelings as you are. Okay? And that was, you know, going to be good for us, for our relationship. We've been working so hard and I don't know. I don't know we were going to celebrate with my mom, but it yeah. didn't go anywhere near That's what as I, thought. I expected it to. I saw the video um, of Josh and Easy talking. Whenever we got back from Miami, 
first and foremost, I'm just surprised that they actually sat down to talk. You know, I was happy to see that, but not happy to see them Bickering. arguing that yeah, they did. The resolution lot. being, you know, that they apologized to each other and stuff. And it's a good start. I mean, that's amazing. You know, it's amazing that they were able to do that. I just wish they would have been able to do that sooner before oh. dragging our relationships that blue vein. through the mud know. all over social media. Is that a blue vein There's been so mm-hmm. much damage them. done at this point. You know, so much embarrassment. And it should be on them, not true. I was about to say, you know, so many things that's still said that cannot be taken back. I'm just drained, y'all. Like I, can I know I have to talk to both of them about everything. So she does. I just, I just don't know what to say. And I don't know, like, at what point do I like draw the line, like mentally, like, you know. At what point do I say like, all right, I gotta look out for my mental health because at this point, I don't think I can take any more, any more of this unstable relationship between the two of them. It's any more relationship being though. thrown under the bus. Yeah. Any more of easy being able to question where we stand. Oh, that's what I want to say. Pause that. Pause that. Any more of the separation. So I have to say something in reference to that that is a very tough place for you to understand that she would question whether or not she wants to be with you based on how somebody else is making her feel um and there's no but but there is a but but you have to also understand how this feels for her again if you step into her size 11s and literally look at the situation and let this be her brother who was doing these things to you yes look at it that way if her brother was dragging you and doing everything that has happened and easy you wasn't taken up for you easy wasn't taken up he for was you. taking that emotional you be abusive mental beating you have to stop and truly be objective about it step into 11s and look at it this was this was her brother doing this to you for two years you would start to question not whether you're worth it because i'm sure you're worth it to her she loves you And I know that you love her, but you have to understand at some point, if you're not stepping up for her, the same way you would be in her face and irate about it, I can only see it. If her brother was doing this to you over two years and two years she didn't stand up and and put her foot down for you. That kind of wears a person down emotionally. That's Um, emotional Because Easy still being the, she's still still defending, she's still, she's defending herself from Josh. She still, yes, is not right for her to... It, I mean, people have the right to react the way they want to react. But when they're being provoked, yeah. and in in essence, she's still she's always on the defense. Yeah. But someone's coming at her. And so when a person's in that position, you as her partner, be her partner. Yeah, All the time. Like, not yeah. when it's easy and it's fun. And it's, you know, we go travel and enjoy like, life. All the time. Because I promise you, if you literally sat down and... You know, put metaphorically in your mind's eye, sit in those shoes of being easy and then let this be easy's brother doing everything that your brother has done to her over two years. Mm -hmm. And then the reconciliation, the Christmas thing happened. And then your brother, her brother pranked you and said all the same stuff that he said about you anyway. Right. I'm telling you, you you do know, consider it differently. And what you do know is that easy ain't going to let nobody talk to you crazy. Even when Easy sets up pranks for people to prank you, she, she don't let them stops talk it to you because crazy. She respects you so and she holds you in high regard. It doesn't matter if her brother has the same personality as Josh or if he has his own personality. Easy ain't letting it happen, Captain. But she ain't letting that, it happen. That's the thing that that's the one place that needs some improvement on your behalf. As a feminine energy, I can understand a little bit. <laughs> But I, I still like because he's still I, you know, a woman. You know what? Well, because he's still a woman. Who, why she as a feminine energy? Who's a feminine energy? Natalie. Why? We, okay, you just confused me. You said as a feminine energy because he's still a woman. Okay, so I guess what I was saying was, 
Natalie is, she's never had to be the dominant person. She has a brother to, to do that. She has a yeah, mom, protector. Now she has Easy as a protector. She's never been in a position as oh, well, a dominant person where she's to, had defend to defend another now, person. Now, that's a good point. But let me just tell you this. The truth is, and I say this lightly, no matter whether it's with Easy or the next person, this situation, because it's been silently accepted... I know you don't think you were accepting it, but because it's been silently condoned, yeah, this true. situation is going to happen again and again and again. And I hate to say that, even after this, you know, reconciliation, because the truth is, he just feels the way that he feels about his baby sister. And he's going to go to bat for you, which is what he's supposed to do. But you need right. to stand up and say, hey, I'm good. Easy's my person. I choose her. She treats me good. I love her. We're good, brother. Just, you know... Just, it's okay. Again, it's no different. I can hold it's my no, own. But it's, no, you, but it's but no that's different the thing, than Just hold. go back to what I'm saying, though. If she's a feminine person. She's not used to defending nothing. But, or she, You know, she's kind of like the person, you know, but aggressive But not also energy. the kind of person who just lets people run okay, over that's her. Okay, that's true. That's true. And that's true. say any kind it's of thing. It's just a new she energy she's going to have herself. to tap into. Well, she's a different and, side and, and of then you that you're going to have to understand. And then to a person that you actually love, that you've known and loved your entire life, that you mm-hmm. regard very highly. Because I'm going to say this. There is no choosing between your brother and Easy. Your brother's going to always be your brother. And Easy's going to always, always be Easy. Now, what, whether or not what she's, you have to continues to be a girlfriend right, or a friend, is she's it doesn't matter person. whether you replace Easy with the next person. Josh is still going to be who Josh is. So you have to understand your role and responsibility in this is to fix this at its source. You know, I say as a joke, don't put lipstick on a pig and act like it's pretty. It's not. You know, don't put a Band-Aid on. You know, you got a gash in your leg eight inches deep and you go put a Band-Aid over two centimeters of it. Okay, it's still going to bleed. You know, you're not, you didn't really fix it. So you have to fix this. And I know it's heavy and it's sad, but there's another thing that I always, you know, I say this to my kid and I say this to her because I'm very logical. I'm a Taurus also, very logical, but I see things from everybody's perspective, which is just a true gift. Which is why Easy apologizes so much because she, because even, well, she the, even if she's the person that, that intention. right, yeah, and she's easy to apologize because of that. She sees it from every single point of view. We're having to choose between the two of them. I honestly don't know um, what's going to happen at this point, guys. Would you I want to stay single? I just, I guess I just wanted to record this for those of you that were concerned um, and wanted to hear from me basically what I'm going through and how I'm feeling about everything. Um, you know, thank you. Thank you to everybody who have been concerned and actually thought about me through this because that means a lot, you know? My real and true supporters, like I've, I've noticed. First of all, your braids are beautiful. <laughs> like I she's said, so it. even though she's sad, she is so pretty. Was, I mean, that's, that's she's so weird. gorgeous. But I mean, that's just because you're pretty, anyways. You're very beautiful. But I love. These I mean, braids. seeing her sad. The last time I saw her sad like this was when she went back home. Yeah, easy. I heard easy and mm-hmm. the whole thing. Uh huh. Yeah. And and easy confessed her oh, love. I know what I was gonna say. Well, so you're entitled to your feelings, and your feelings are also valid. But I'm going to say this. And I've said this probably all my adult years. Don't be sad about something you That's can what fix. You, were say. Okay. you can fix this. So to sit around and feel sad is just counterproductive to the productivity that your actual if you standing up versus the silent acceptance of it. It's almost and I'm just gonna give you a loose interpretation. It's almost no different than um this is just so you can compare, okay? It's like the racist comment this the racist stuff that happens and then people don't say nothing oh i don't really want to you know get in the way i don't want to well, say, don't nothing. say nothing at all. i don't want to i don't want to offend nobody i don't want to upset nobody i don't want to make nobody else mess so they just don't say nothing i don't agree with it but i don't say nothing that's kind of how it looks like you accept it and it looks like you're condoning it because you're silent about it so i'm not saying even in the eyes of what we see i'm saying 
the fact that you're not standing up and saying, brother, I'm good. Yeah. And I just say it's no different than when him and his woman have issues. I'm sure you're not telling him maybe you, sh- you shouldn't be, you know, maybe, sh- maybe you shouldn't be with Sasha. I'm sure you're not saying those things because mm-hmm. that's not your place. Your yeah. role and responsibility as a sibling is yeah. to want your person, your brother, mm-hmm. to be happy. And, the and fact so that she's he, been there, she's been yeah, living with if him. If he chooses yeah. Sasha, then your role and responsibility is only to support him through that. Sure. So that's his role and responsibility to you. So I also wanted to say, you said that you're embarrassed and um, you said a couple other things that, you know, dragging this out in the public and social media and stuff like mm-hmm. that and that it's embarrassing to you. That's an interesting comment because it's no, again, this is just a loose analogy. It's like something happens to you that you had no control over that you didn't cause nor create and then you feel embarrassed that it happened to you. That's like ill-placed, you know, um, association or guilt or whatever. If anything, they too should be feeling the way that they want to feel. This this is almost like on the video where your car was sitting and it got damaged. Easy was in the car. You were not. The car was damaged and you didn't... You just wanted them to deal with that issue, yeah. with that yeah. separ- with that issue separately, and fix the issue separately. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm glad your car is working and everything's good with the car, but it's not something that you should have to carry. And yeah, you don't have to own. That's that. not your burden to. And I can under, I still can understand your position though. You got two people you love, you regard, and you probably would see them every day and spend time with them every day. But it's hard. It's almost like you gotta you gotta spend time with either Easy or Josh, and you can't. You know, before they were all, everybody was together. Now it's like I have to choose my life differently because they're not but getting along. But let me say, you're not choosing like, your life. You're living your life. And the truth true. is, you would be living your life anyways, separate from everything else that's happening because it's your life to live and you're an adult. So truth is, you're not choosing this person. You're living. You're living. Just like when you mm-hmm. left, you gained your independence. You gained your independence. You got your house. Yeah. You're living. That wasn't choosing easy because you left. That was choosing you. No. You and Easy spend time together, y'all vacation and do all this stuff. That's you choosing you. That is you guys growing and building on all that stuff. But that's not choosing her over your brother. So you have Aren't to conceptualize this like different. This is you just living. You just living. But you have to own your power and understand your contribution to this. And, and unfortunately, and- life is not always about ups. And I can understand. I even know firsthand about when things are down and low and not right. It's kind of hard to function well depending on how you are i don't feel like i feel like natalie is stronger than that but i will say this because i'm a strong person but i'm the first one to say even brock even rocks break like bro i can only be so strong at some point i need to lean on somebody and talk about something because okay it's overwhelming it's too much so you're you're definitely strong but you have to own your power in this place because I, i unfortunately am saying to you just from a psychological perspective, yeah. if this situation isn't addressed correctly and fixed at the source, you know, it's like building a house off of, you know, damaged bricks, right? Mm-hmm. It may stand foundation. up a little bit, right? It may last for a little bit, but, you know, over time, you know, the foundation's going to give, walls going to break, stuff. It's going to, you know, it's not going to withstand right. because it wasn't it's built not correctly. not going to look good from the outside for lo- much not, longer. Not for long. Yeah. So you have to own your power in this don't, don't judge that. You have to own your power in this place. <laughs> Understand your role and contribution to it and that your silence, when not, if you're not standing like this with easy and this is a person you choose to share your life with right now, then that is kind of saying that, you know, there's, there's space in between there for somebody else to get in and wedge their foot in the door. And I don't think your brother is necessarily doing these things to be mean or malicious or malice. I don't think it's any of that. No matter what it is, it, it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. because it's still your life and it's up to you to own this space. So I say this again. I'm sorry that you're hurting. Honestly, I'm sorry because I've been there. But what I learned from that space is there's no need to feel sad and downtrodden and forlorn and melancholy and all these things over other people's choices. But the truth is, if you can change it, Just then change it. it. And you're the Just only person it. that can. You're the person in Just the middle. Change it. I don't know what's wrong with her neck. It's on a swivel. So we wanna, we wanna I love this. you, Nat. We love you, Nat. We, I do, and I, I love you and Easy together. 
I even watch Family Project still. I love the whole family. Like, yeah. we love you I guys separately and together. Guys. Yes, but I'm just talking to you like I would talk to her, or I would talk to my mom, or my sisters, or my kid. Like, I'm just honest. It's just perspective. So seek uh, to be as understanding as you want to be understood. understood. So that's what I was gonna say. So this what this is an idea. I was just thinking about while you were talking. No shade, but. Supposed to be listening. As we, okay, I was listening. So as we, when we, before we like do an outro, before we like end the video, we should say, "This is Chef Ebony Rocks," and all I have to say is, and like make it like a sentence or maybe two, and then I'll say something like, "This is reflection deep," and all I have to say is one or two, you know, okay. one sentence, but make it like simple okay, and okay. powerful. Well, I'm gonna simple. say what I always say. That's the truth. Well, it, it was the thing you just said. Yeah, I'm about to say, I would say that. That's just, that is my That's sentence exactly. for life. So you want to do that real quick? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go first. Mm-hmm. My name is Reflection Deep, and all I have to say is, Natalie, you must change your perception and your position in this relationship or situation with your brother and your girlfriend. I wish you guys the best. We love you guys, and uh, we can't wait to see the video that came out today with you and easy. Hopefully you guys have worked it out, um, and peace and blessings. Um, and I'm about to sign out. You know, I got one more thing to say because I always do. Say what your name is. Chef Ebony Rocks, of course. You know. Um, and I'm just gonna say what I always say is seek to be as understanding as you want to be understood. Um, love organically, mm-hmm. and stand up for what you believe in and what you love and how you choose to love and how you choose to live you have to put that first for the rest of your life whether or not you choose easy forever or you choose another woman or whatever you choose to do doesn't matter you have to stand up for your relationship first and other people will in turn follow and do the same all right love you peace let's put on a bit. Pooh price come give me three and what we're doing for the first Dang, your head feel big tonight. For the first 1K subscribers, are we're gonna actually do a subscribe sus- for sub- Let's make it a blooper. Okay. So what we're doing for you guys is we're gonna set. I'm sorry. We want you guys. To sus- we want you guys. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm the best mom. Yeah. <laughs> you really are. I'm the best mom in the world.